Hello guys and welcome back to another Mod Monday and today we're checking out the Efficiency Checker mod by Marcio Hussa. This mod was recently released and has since already received a handful of updates so let's check it out. In order to unlock it, you will need to go to Hub Tier 4 and select the Efficiency Checker. It costs a total of 300 cable, 500 concrete and 500 iron plates. However, note you will need to unlock Logistics Mark III first. Once unlocked, we gain access to the Efficiency Checker tab in the Build menu, where we can construct the Efficiency Checker that must be placed on a conveyor wall hole, the Checker for pipes on walls, and we have both the Above and Below model, an Efficiency Checker for on a pipe, as well as the Conveyor Efficiency Checker which displays along the side, and one that also displays above the conveyor line. Each cost a total of 10 cable, 10 iron plates and 10 concrete. By placing these efficiency checkers on a pipe or conveyor line, we receive easily displayed information covering the calculated input of the line, the limited throughput meaning the belt or pipe capacity and the required output to run all machines that are connected. Now I'll admit that from time to time I get informed of a mod that's being developed and I'm not overly uh, impressed by the idea of it. Uh, for me that was the same with this mod. I thought it might be similar to the throughput counter from what I understood, giving a live count on items on the belt, but this is so much more and to say I'm happily surprised is definitely an understatement and I will definitely be adding this to my modded livestream list. The models are simple but at the same time fit with the feel of the game. They are also very easy to use and the information provided is easy to understand and read from afar. They are colour coded with red meaning inefficient, green being as close to efficient as you can make it and there are further colours available as well. So there's blue being a field that is custom set that has been defined manually, yellow which informs you the injected input is greater than the throughput of the belt letting you know that the belt needs to be upgraded and then we have black which informs you you still have room on your belt to run. So you're probably wondering what the checker actually does. Well, the checker calculates all the inputs and outputs you have on each pipe or conveyor segment and also takes into consideration the clock speeds of the associated factory as well allowing you to see exactly how efficient your factory is and I love it, although I must admit the only qualm I have so far is that the item should be a little bit more expensive to produce. I feel it's a more advanced item and thus would consider like the smart splitters requiring an AI limiter to produce. But that's only a, a small suggestion and it's not super important, it's just something that I think would balance it slightly more. I'm also really happy that he's added the top down display efficiency checker as it's perfect for a raised factory layout like the ones I often use in my 5x5 challenge. A little addition that really does go a long way and the conveyor efficiency checkers are also stackable and can be placed directly onto belts and pipes or can be connected with pipes and belts. So to sum up, this in itself is a great mini addition to any build and is already compatible with Fixit Networks integration, but Marcio hasn't finished there. He's got plans to add more, including adding an auto update setting that's toggable on and off for each building connected, a hand tool which will allow you to point to a given conveyor belt, pipe or elevator to see exactly how efficient it is, which will be awesome. And finally, multiplayer support, which I've been told might actually arrive prior to this video being spotlighted. So there you are guys. It's well worth a download and if you're new to modding in Satisfactory, why not check out my guide on how to install mods. Anyway guys, if you do like the look of this mod, be sure to let Marcio know by hitting the thumbs up. And obviously if you like my content, why not join me on Twitch for our live streams or subscribe to me on here if you haven't already. Anyway guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching 
And as always, ciao for now. <laughs>